Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Wandering Joe's Fly Fishing. On today's episode, before we get to the fishing, I want to talk about something serious briefly. Um, today is May 17th of 2023, and 10 years ago, on May 17th of 2013, I got clean and sober. For the last 10 years, I have lived life without a drink or a drug in my system. And I owe a major part of those 10 years to fly fishing. Four months into my recovery process, I had a friend who said, hey Joe, why don't you go buy a pair of waders and get your license and come meet me on a river. And I caught my first trout and it was the most amazing experience I had had in a very long time. Uh, and I kept going and I kept doing it and it became a really integral part of my life and my success for being able to like get through difficult times or be able to escape or give myself some dopamine because I you know I needed to feel good catching trout has been so so absolutely important to me in this process so one of the things I want to do is give you three different organizations that I'm aware of that help with mental health and fly fishing uh, one of those organizations is for vets, you've probably heard of it, it's Project Healing Waters Fly Fishing. Another organization that is oriented towards helping addicts like myself is Reeling in Serenity. Uh, they incorporate recovery process and fly fishing, which is phenomenal. And I also want to highlight there is another organization called Fishing the Good Fight. And this is oriented towards helping men reduce the stigma in seeking out mental health and therapeutic services and also fly fishing. So one of the things I wanna say is if you're struggling with mental health, I wanna say it's okay. Uh, it doesn't feel okay, but it, it, you're gonna be okay. Go get some help, you know? It's okay to ask for help. I think that's the major point. And I am so glad that I have and I did because I don't have to live with that pain anymore. So on today's episode, the only thing I want to do is catch one trout for every year that I've been sober. I'm at the end of my fishing trip. That happened. Uh, and uh, man, check it out. All right, all right, guy. He's all right. He's a stalker. He's all right. He took a size 18 ice cream cone midge. Year number one. I didn't get the hookup guys, but it's right in his mouth and we got to bring him in. All right, this one's better. This one's better. Year. Number two.
Wait. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> and the hook popped off. Chill, 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 chill. 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 Put him in my shadow. That's your three, baby. Yes! Yeah, all right. Come on, guy. All right. Whew. I know. I'm gonna let you go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you fight. Oh, oh man, all right, whoo. Chill, 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 chill. Year four. Look at this guy. How pretty. Look at this, this guy. You're five. Come. Look at that guy. Awesome. Look at that guy. Oh, he goes. Got him. Wow, this guy 
is a uh, rainbow. All right, Mr. Rainbow. Boom. Year seven. Got him. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with my net today. All right. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Gotta take a picture of this guy too. Look at this brown. How pretty. Look at that guy. How awesome. Boom. Ah. Yeah. All right, another little brownie. I think this guy marks year nine. That was fighter jet, I believe. Scared the bejeebas out of me. Got him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Another solid little brownie. This marks number 10, but I'm gonna keep going. Look at this guy. Boom. I got another one on. I caught him all the way across the other side of the river. Boom. Adam's size 14 for the win. Just like last year. Just like last year. All right. Let's get this guy released. Boom. Since I didn't get the last one across the stream on camera. I hope they're done.
twins. Got him. <laughs> Oh yeah. So guys, I caught my 10 and a little bit extra. Um, it was really important for me to come to this river because when I moved from Connecticut down here, this was the only river I could catch trout in and that's the only way I knew how to catch fish is by trout. I didn't know how to fly fish for bass uh, and I didn't know how to conventional fish. I still don't know how to conventional fish. I only know how to fly fish. And so I was really dependent on this river because it was the only place I could go uh, in order to do exactly that, to catch fish. And I did. I've caught many here. I've caught so many here, including my first one on a dry fly. So, this river has a special place for me. Just to highlight, it's okay to reach out for help if you are struggling. You don't have to be in that pain anymore. Um, and I end every episode by saying be well and take care of yourselves because I really hope, really, really, really hope you do exactly that, that you be well and you take care of yourselves. And uh, I also wanna highlight that like, I'm here to support you in whatever way I can via fishing, especially if you live in Virginia, because I want to be able to share this gift that was given to me from a guy who barely even known me, so I could feel better about myself and about life. Anyway guys, take care of yourselves, be well, and I'll see you on the next one.